In this video, I would like to talk to you about the potential attackers. Who are these people who want to attack the food industry, the food product, and the consumer, and at a large scale too? The first example can be the extremist. This is an individual or a group who believe in a certain cause to the point that they are willing to cause harm to others because they believe that they're doing the right thing or because they want to bring attention to their cause. It can be a political thing, it can be a religious thing, it can be a certain cause that they are really strong about, like animal welfare, for example. These people are not worried about being caught because they want attention to their cause, right? So, if you'd like to stop them, catching them is not the right thing to do. You should focus on preventing it before it happens or make it harder for these people to actually deliver their attack and succeed at it. The next example or type of an attacker would be the opportunist. This is an individual who happened to have access they happen to be at the right place at the right time where they can deliver an attack. It can be someone who has the right to be on site, like a contractor, a visitor, or even an ex-colleague or potentially a colleague. They are okay to be on site, which means the fence will not stop them. The CCTV camera might not stop them. The access control and the door and the locks and the keys might not stop them because they're okay to be there. So we need other controls for these guys. The third type I would like to talk to you about would be the irrational individual. Irrational. We don't know what they're thinking, why they are doing this, they're being silly, they're probably mentally unwell, there is a bit of a problem. This is what they came up with. You don't know why. And the fourth type would be the extortionist. The extortionist is someone who don't want to actually attack, but they might talk about it or threaten to do it. They might be paid to do so, they might be after some money somehow, or maybe they just want attention, or maybe they're doing it for different reasons, because they don't like somebody at the site, maybe, who knows, all right? Another type is the disgruntled individual. This is somebody who is not satisfied, who's not happy, to the point that they think it's okay to go and cause harm. They might be someone at your site, they might be the neighbor, they might be the competitor, they might be somebody out there in the supply chain. The idea is somebody who's not happy, disgruntled, and so. And the last type that I'd like to talk to you about would be the professional criminal. This is somebody who is professional, they've got the know-how, they know what they're doing, and probably they do it again and again because somebody is paying them to. You would think these people would like to get the job done, conf like deliver their attack and disappear. They don't want to be caught. So any control that you might have around catching the attacker might at least deter these people. Does that make sense? So what I'm saying here, we have different types of attackers who have different motivations who have different capacities. Somebody might know the technicality of delivering a certain type of attack. In the other hand, other attacks will not need know-how. Sticking a needle in a strawberry doesn't take a lot of technical understanding, but some other types of attacks definitely does. So, different attackers, different motivations with different capacities. and. We need to try to understand who might want to, and want to attack us. How can we stop them from doing so? If you're interested in learning more about food defense, please have a look at our website. In there, you will find courses, checklists, even a full template that you can use to apply food defense at your workplace. And of course, we are more than happy to connect with you and answer any questions you may have in this regard.